Hey, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel where we talk all about gentle products that are friendly to your skin. And today I'm revisiting my top 10 K-Beauty series. So I've already done a video with my top 10 recommendations, the products that I just recommend for everybody. And then I've also done videos by skin type for oily combination and dry skin. So if you haven't seen those, definitely do check them out. But within those videos in the comments, overwhelmingly, I got the request to do a top 10 K-Beauty for mature skin. I think we live in a society that doesn't really care really about the mature consumer. You know what I'm saying, right? Um, I think things are getting better, but there is a lot of ageism out there. And I do feel like the skincare industry just, you know, markets the richest, heaviest, most moisturizing cream, labels it anti-aging and says, here you go, you know? And I just think there's it's just more complex than that. You know, you can have older skin and be super duper oily. You know, you can have acne in your 40s and 50s. Yes, you can. So I just don't really feel like it is a one size, you know, fits all type of approach, which is why I've really kind of embraced more of the term well aging. And I have structured this video more around ingredients and about um, the potential skin concerns that you might have as you do get older. Um, and of course, embracing the philosophies of Korean skincare that we all love. So I just wanted to put that out there. That's more how I've structured this particular video is more around ingredients and skin concerns and not a one size fits all approach for mature skin. Whew. All right, I got that out of the way. Let's jump into the video, give it a big thumbs up and let's get started. One other quick note before we jump into it, I just wanna let you know about the ingredient retinol. It's amazing, it should be part of your well aging journey, something that you should consider adding into your routine. However, you're not gonna find it in this video. That is not a glaring omission, I didn't forget. But because this is my top 10 K beauty, it just, doesn't fit into the K-beauty world. As K-beauty and the Western world, especially when it comes to skincare products, start to collide and mix, you see a lot more of that Western influence entering the K-beauty space and vice versa as well. And so it is starting to become a little bit more popular. It's starting to become a lot more common, um, but I still have not included it in this video because I just don't really have either A, a lot of experience with these products. I can't speak on something I've never tried or B, I don't have good experiences and I'm not gonna include something in here just for the sake of including it. You know what I'm saying? So first up, green tea, an ingredient you need to know on your well aging journey. And you know, Asian cultures, you know, bringing it outside of just Korea, Asian cultures definitely have a reverence for green tea and its effects on your health inside and out. So it is definitely a power player when it comes to Korean skincare products. And it is a potent antioxidant. Definitely something that you wanna pack your skincare routine with as you have your eye on the well aging game because antioxidants are so protective for your skin, particularly when it comes to free radicals that can damage your skin's collagen structure. Now this is gonna be a big theme throughout the video, collagen. Protecting the collagen you have, stimulating some more collagen because this is what keeps your skin elastic, firm. This is what helps with fine lines and wrinkles. So really it is all about collagen and green tea has the potent antioxidant capabilities to help protect your collagen from damage, particularly from like UV rays. So the secret to green tea is a polyphenol called EGCG. This is where some of the most potent skin benefits are. This is the Isn't Tree Fresh Green Tea Serum. And this has green tea extract as well as EGCG on the ingredients list added in separately. So they have really recognized what makes green tea special and beneficial for your skin and made sure to up the content just a little bit. Other highlights include niacinamide and adenosine. Now adenosine, it's really great for helping with your skin's collagen. It can help with fine lines and wrinkles skin elasticity, but actually we're going to cover niacinamide and adenosine later in the video. So I don't want to spend that much time on it here. The texture, it's really thin, it's lightweight, it's hydrating. It feels really refreshing on the skin, but I can't emphasize how light this feels. I do feel like this was um, made more for oily skin types, but I do think it'll work for anybody who just really appreciates very light skin care. Next up, let's talk about vitamin C, specifically ascorbic acid. Now, low key, I have to tell you, Korean skincare does vitamin C serums really well, in my opinion. Vitamin C, it can stimulate collagen production on your skin. Now, 
this is very, very important because you want to stimulate your skin's natural collagen production. You don't want to add the ingredient collagen on top of your skin because it doesn't work. Collagen, the molecule is huge. It's a big fat molecule and it just can't penetrate deeply enough into the skin in order to be effective for fine lines and wrinkles. It just doesn't work that way. However, if you use ingredients that stimulate your body's natural production of collagen, that's when you're gonna start to see the benefits. And I'm gonna talk about lots of different ingredients that can do it. Vitamin C is definitely one of the best. Other things that it can do for you, it can help to protect from UV damage. It's a very strong antioxidant. So it's not really a replacement for sunscreen, but it is sunscreen's BFF, like better together, if you know what I mean. So definitely consider using your vitamin C product in the morning alongside of your sunscreen to get like double the protection. Now, another benefit of, of vitamin C is helping to fade hyperpigmentation and maybe helping with sun damage. Something that you might start to see as you get older, you will notice that sun damage will start to emerge on your skin, whether you were wearing sunscreen or not <laughs> sun damage really does start to pop up and say hello like in your late 20s in your 30s even more sometimes in your 40s and 50s right so sun damage definitely does take a long time to happen on the skin it takes a long time to emerge and it does unfortunately take a long time to fade however vitamin c is one of those types of ingredients that can help you if you do have one of those goals on your skin for helping to fade some of that sun damage this is definitely a good ingredient to look at i want to talk about the buy wish trend pure vitamin c 15 percent with ferulic acid remember we we're talking about vitamin c and its uv protective capabilities they those actually become even better when you pair vitamin c with ferulic acid. Um, so they complement each other very, very well. So just more antioxidant power, that's never a bad thing. It's got a nice texture too. It's not overly heavy or oily like some vitamin C products can be. This absorbs really nicely into the skin. You will notice a little bit of that oil feel. It does have kind of a funky smell. These are all characteristic of vitamin C serums. I just think this one has done it really nicely. Next up is Galactomyces Ferment. Now this is really one of the most popular sort of Asian beauty centric ingredients out there for well aging, but really just skin health. And this is definitely an ingredient you need to know about if you haven't heard of it already. It helps to protect the skin with its antioxidant capabilities. It is also really good at helping to keep your skin hydrated because it stimulates your skin's hyaluron um, synthesis. So like hyaluronic acid, keep your skin really nice and plump. It can also help to support a healthy skin barrier function, which is really important. As you get older, your skin barrier is a little bit more prone to becoming weak. So it's good to keep your eye on those types of ingredients. And the most famous benefit of Galactomyces Ferment is its ability to brighten up your skin. This is the Cosrx Galactomyces 95 Tone Balancing Essence. And I wanted to highlight this one for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's got Galactomyces in it, right? So that's definitely something that is going to be awesome. But I love how hydrating this formula is. There's some really wonderful humectants in here. We have panthenol, sodium hyaluronate, and betaine. And this is so good because this texture, it's like a really hydrating, runny gel texture that really plumps your skin up with lots of hydration. You know, Galactomyces can help your skin kind of retain hydration, but in and of itself is not a very hydrating ingredient. Paired with these other humectants, it really plumps your skin up a lot. As you get older, your moisture barrier might be a little bit more prone to being weak, which means you might be losing some hydration from your skin. So you want to add a little bit more into your skincare routine to really plump up the skin and really plump out the fine lines and wrinkles. So that's why I picked this one because it kind of combines two benefits in one with that ingredients list. Next up, let's talk about niacinamide. Now, does it brighten your skin? Yes, it does. Does it support a healthy moisture barrier function? Yes, it does. And does it stimulate collagen production? Boy, yes. It does. So you do want to look for niacinamide between the percentages of four and 5% if you want that collagen stimulating benefit. That's the percentage that brings out all the things that we talked about in a way that doesn't irritate the skin. So the product that I wanna recommend is the Purito Galacto Niacin 97 Power Essence. This name. <laughs> 
Oh, it's such a name. It's like the Power Rangers essence. So we do have Galactomyces Ferment in here and we do have 5% of niacinamide, making this really a serum that is geared towards well aging, very well rounded, well aging serum. Now the texture, it's very thin. There's a little bit of hydration to this, but I will tell you it is kind of interesting. It almost has like a, I was going to say it has an aftertaste. It has like an after texture. And that is that it feels just a little bit like oil. Now it's not oily. It is not heavy. It is not greasy. It's just when you move it between your fingers, you'll be like, hmm, that kind of feels moisturizing. Like it feels a little bit like an oil, but like in this very thin texture. All right. The time has come for us to talk about snail. Oh yeah. I mean, we're talking about fundamentally Korean ingredients, especially in the context of well aging. We have to talk about snail. I'm sorry. There's just no way around it. So the benefits of snail include antioxidant protection, something that you've noticed we've already talked about a lot throughout this video and something that definitely should play a part in your well aging routines. Snail also has the ability to protect your skin's existing collagen structure. Snail also has a wonderful wound healing ability. It's a very soothing ingredient. It's a very skin regenerative ingredient. Chalking it up to be a very good, well aging um, buddy, if you will. This is a type of product or ingredient because it's so soothing. It's so gentle on the skin. It's very hydrating and balancing for the skin. This is something you can really use every single day, morning and night. This is kind of like one of those really hard working daily players alongside of your more potent actives like vitamin C or retinol, which you might not be using every single day. This is that type of ingredient. Of course, I got to shout out the famous Cosrx Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence. It's one of the most popular KBD products for sure. And I absolutely love it. It's hydrating. It's plumping. It's a little bit balancing, a little bit moisturizing, but it's never sticky. It's never heavy or tacky on the skin. But I will say I am so in love with the Cosrx Advanced Snail Dual Radiance Essence because this takes all the goodness of the original, all that snail and marries it with 5% of niacinamide. Yes, we just talked about that. So this is like getting lots of benefits just in one particular product. Next up, let's talk about AHA. Now this is a chemical exfoliant that works on the top of your skin. It helps to lift away dead skin cells. It really helps to resurface your skin to reveal fresher, brighter, maybe even more youthful looking skin. It's definitely a really great tool to use on your well aging journey. So I do wanna talk about Isn't Tree Clear Skin 8% AHA Essence because this uses two different types of AHA and I think it's a really nice gentle formula. So we have 4% of glycolic acid. Now this is probably one of the most well-regarded AHA varieties out there. It's very, very effective. It can work very quickly on the skin to really reveal that brighter, fresher skin. And they've married that with 4% of lactic acid, which is an AHA variety well known for being gentle on the skin, not super aggressive. So I think that um, Isn't Tree has actually done a really good job balancing these two out because glycolic acid works really fast, really effective, potentially very aggressive and potentially cause irritation on the skin, right? And then lactic acid's a little slower, still works, but a little bit more gentle. So they really balance that out really nicely. I love the texture of this because this isn't just like one of those thin, um, watery AHA types of products that you kind of just like swipe on with a cotton pad. It not only gives you the AHA, but it also brings some hydration to your skin too, which is great because sometimes when you use chemical exfoliation, your skin just wants a little bit more hydration and a little bit more soothing and this um, brings it really nicely. Next up, let's talk about adenosine. I teased this earlier in the video and here we are. Now adenosine, it's a cell communicating ingredient that signals to your skin uh, regeneration, rejuvenation. It's got a great wound healing ability. It can help to stimulate collagen production on the skin and it also helps with strengthening your skin's moisture barrier. 
Ah, these are all things we've already talked about and why you want to keep your eye on them, right? So adenosine definitely brings a lot of benefits to the table. And um, this is one of those ingredients that's going to be very supportive because it's a very gentle type of ingredient. You can use it every single day. Um, it's not like a vitamin C or a retinol, right? So this is one of those supportive ingredients that you definitely want to keep your eye on in your well aging journey. I really want to recommend the RNW Adenosine Plus Serum because of course this is focused on that beautiful adenosine but they've also paired it with some other goodies, including a botanical complex called Volufiline. Now this is actually kind of an exciting kind of development in skincare. Some people actually refer to it like skincare filler. Um, I will always say, let's not go that far. Let's not be extreme. It's not necessarily going to be like getting fillers in your skin, but really the name says it all. Volufiline, fill your lines with volume and that's exactly what it does it helps to plump out fine lines and wrinkles we talked about that a little bit earlier with hydration that you can really decrease the look of fine lines and wrinkles by kind of plumping out the skin you know there's a handful of serums that i've used in my like whole skincare journey and you know i've tried a lot of skincare that make my skin feel plump and firm and juicy underneath my fingertips you know what i'm saying this is one of them and it works pretty fast. Um, and I just love that effect. It feels awesome on the skin. You know, I couldn't help myself. I have to talk about propolis. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's my favorite ingredient, but there's a reason why there's so many benefits and it just treats my skin so well time after time. So I actually want to talk about propolis and honey because if we're really keeping our eye on well aging, I think that these two ingredients work incredibly well together. So the product that I'm going to talk about is the Skin Food Royal Honey Propolis Enrich Essence. So this has 63% of propolis and 10% of honey. Now propolis, you know, it's one of those ingredients that has a really good wound healing ability that actually does apply to well aging too. And it can help with fine lines and wrinkles because think about it when we're repairing the skin, right? When we have a wound, we are signaling to our skin to, to close it up, to, to help repair it. And that actually helps to stimulate collagen right? Collagen is what helps seal up the wounds on your face, but it's also what helps with fine lines and wrinkles too. So oftentimes ingredients that have wound healing abilities will have a really nice well aging benefit to them as well. Propolis also has antioxidant capabilities. It's anti-inflammatory. It gives a gorgeous glow to your skin. Pretty much everything that I said about propolis would also apply to honey. This is another ingredient with great wound healing ability. A little bit more moisture, I think, on the honey side, um, but it is also anti-inflammatory. It's soothing. It reduces redness. Both of these ingredients are also um, antibacterial, so if you do happen to have mature skin, and you're still breaking out. Yeah, it happens. Let's normalize it. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is a great one um, to add into your repertoire as well because it can help to soothe the inflamed acne. It can, it has that antibacterial effect. We talked about wound healing already. So you see why I wanted to include it in the video. Next up, I want to talk about two ingredients. So let me introduce the product first. It's the Isentree TW Real Bifida Ampule. So I want to talk about Bifida Ferment Lysate and I want to talk about peptides. First up, let's talk about Bifida Ferment Lysate. Now this is a fermented ingredient that really helps to support the health of your skin's moisture barrier. Now, as I mentioned earlier, you know, as you get older, you may notice that your moisture barrier function is a little bit more prone to becoming weak. Um, you may notice a little bit more dehydration on your skin from time to time. You may also notice that your skin maybe just gets a little bit drier. That's why it's important to keep your eye on moisture barrier health at every age, right? Because like you just can't have healthy skin without a healthy moisture barrier, but it's important to kind of make it a, a part of your skincare routines as you get older to keep your skin healthy and in really good shape. I also want to talk about peptides, which is a really complex subject. That's like its own video. Do you know what I'm saying? And I've done some videos on peptides in the past, but if you've watched those, you know, I always say, um, there's a lot of different peptides out there. They all do different things. And 
and not all of them are really the best for well aging, right? However, um, there's some good ones in this particular serum. So we have three peptides in here. The first is palmitoyl oligopeptide, which is actually an old name. Um, the name it now goes by is hexapeptide 12. And what you really need to know about this one is it can really help to firm up your skin. Then we have copper tripeptide one. Now this is the one I would say perk up your ears if you're wanting to learn more about peptides that have a well aging benefit because this is really one of the best peptides out there. Um, it definitely helps with collagen production. It also has a wound healing ability. It can help to firm and lift the skin. It can help with the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. It just helps with overall skin regeneration like it's just definitely one of the peptides that you want to look for I mean there are even serums fully dedicated to copper tripeptide ones so it's definitely one of the best ones and it's so nice to see it on the ingredients list and we have acetyl hexapeptide 8 also known as the Botox peptide I just like rolled my eyes a little bit because like like I said earlier like let's not go too extreme right with our expectations however this peptide does have the ability to help improve the look of um, facial expression. So like the wrinkles you get on your forehead when you move your eyebrows or around your eyes or around your mouth, it can or really help uh, to to kind of um, soften the look of them. It's not improving them necessarily, but if you're looking for like a quick immediate kind of benefit, this is a nice uh, peptide to look for. And finally, SPF. Oh yeah, I could not make a video without talking about sunscreen. One of the biggest themes that we've heard throughout this entire video is protecting from UV damage. And while antioxidants can definitely help with that, there is no substitute for sunscreen at all. I don't have a specific product recommendation for you in this category. I'm going to put on the screen the beauty of Joseon Rice and Probiotics SPF. This is just something that I've been really enjoying lately and it's a great example of like a new Korean sunscreen. Um, I think that this is a definitely a great solid product. However, the best sunscreen, you want to know what's, what, what is the the very, very best sunscreen. The best sunscreen is the one you are going to wear every single day and like enjoy applying to your face. Because if I could only recommend one product to you or like if, if you only had money to buy one skincare product for your well aging journey, it would be sunscreen. That's what I would tell you to do. This is the strongest, most potent, most protective, most beneficial uh, skincare product for well aging out there. Simply put, I mean, it protects from UV damage way better than any other ingredient that we've talked about, right? Those are all wonderful pairs with sunscreen, but UV can really damage your skin's collagen structure. You know, and that's what we've talked about throughout this entire video. That's what keeps your skin firm and lifted. That's what helps to fight the formation of fine lines and wrinkles. And I will tell you, UV damage will speed up the aging process on your skin way faster than just getting older. And let's be honest, the risk of melanoma and skin cancer is real. We do a lot to protect our health. We take vitamins, we eat healthy, we drink water, we try to rest. We try to make the right choices right? To protect our health. And you should think about sunscreen as falling into that category, protecting your health. Yes, protecting your skin. Yes, a skincare product, but also a tool to keep you healthy, you know? So if you've never been motivated to wear sunscreen, um, but you do want to protect your health, you might want to start thinking about sunscreen as a tool to protect yourself. Because at the end of the day, that's actually what it is. And that's actually what it's doing for you while also helping to improve the look of your skin along the way. So I hope that video really empowered you with some ingredient knowledge and some ideas of what to target in your skincare routines as you go along your well aging journey. And you know, I always want to hear from you. What are your top well aging products? Drop all your recommendations, K-Beauty or not, in the comment box below. If you love this video, if it was helpful, but you're not subscribed to my channel yet, please do consider hitting subscribe. I release a lot of new skincare videos throughout the week, so you might want to consider turning on notifications so you never miss out on the new content. I hope you guys are healthy, happy, and safe, and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye.